Hello Internet, how are you guys doing today? In today's video, we're going to be turning this into a PC. So what I have here is $200 in cash. And I'm, I, I'm going to set myself a little challenge. So, we're going to see with this $200 here, what is the best computer that we can make or find? So, I'm going to scour Craigslist, let go off up, Facebook Marketplace and all that to see what is the best deals for either the whole computer or just parts and then yeah so this part this will probably be a two episode thing in the first episode this episode I'll be trying to um I'll be looking at deals try to see what I can do and yeah so there will be that that in the second episode which the second episode is gonna be like if we have just if we have gotten parts for the build then it will be building the computer and then testing it out and benchmarking it and comparing it with this laptop here the Dell Inspiron 15 3000 series and that thing right there is actually the main reason why I want to do this challenge even though it is a very good laptop it is only $300 and if I want to keep doing the video editing and photo editing and all that I'll have to upgrade that system because $300 laptop eh, video editing not, not the best not the best at all so we'll see how far I can spend $200 So as I am here uh, browsing Craigslist, Letgo, OffRub, and Facebook Marketplace, I will be telling you what I want in my system that I'm trying to buy for $200 for this challenge. And I'll also, at the end of that, I'll also be telling you which one that I like the most and everything like that. And after that, at the end, I'm going to be telling you guys what I liked about each of the different platforms of selling things and put it through a... Like, or one through four because there's different categories so let's start off with what I want in my system so in my system I'm trying to look for so well let's start with the processor in the processor you can either go one or two ways you can either go AMD or Intel with AMD you got the Ryzen series and they are better for gaming, I would say, and they also have higher, uh, more cores and more threads in them. So I would like to have the Ryzen series on top of Intel. But with Intel, I would rather have like an i. I would have if I had to go Intel, I would want to have an i5 or an i7, preferably seventh generation. But yeah, that brings us to the GPU next. In there, I would. I would want somewhere in like 1060 3 gigabyte version so yeah so that means I can either I'd want like the 1060 6 gigabyte or the 1050 Ti on the AMD side like a 980 to like a 960 for graphics sorry for uh, RAM that's where, that's where we're going now for RAM I would want either 4 to 16 gigs of DDR4. If you go anywhere past that, that's probably going to be out of budget and everything. Even though that would be better, but I would want DDR4 because it's good for it's better for upgrade upgradability. Other than DDR3, which is 2019, so I'll probably have to switch like the motherboard, CPU, and the RAM all at once just to change it to DDR4 which it's going to be better in the long run if I just do DDR4. For storage, I'm not too, too worried about because storage is pretty cheap. I can get a 2 terabyte hard drive for like around $60. And for power supplies, I'm not too, too worried about that either. I, I'd want a modular one, but with this price point, I'm not sure if I would be able to get it. And if I... If I get a non-modular one, then that's just more cable management I would have to do in the long run. With wattage, 
it doesn't really matter, but I'd want 500 or above. But anything around that, I could just upgrade and change out every so often as well. So, the next part, I will be talking about the different... So here I will be talking about the different systems that I found that I'm able to get for the 200. So I have one from Craigslist, two from OfferUp, and one from LetGo. The one from Craigslist is an Intel Core i5-7500 processor with a 3.4 GHz cl uh, clock speed. It has, it has a GTX 1066 GB and it has 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM. One terabyte hard drive, 250 gig SSD. This is pretty good because it has both the hard drive and an SSD, and it's basically top on the other things with the 16 gigabytes of RAM and the 1066 gigabyte version as well. The next one on the list is an AMD FX 8350 series, eight core, eight thread processor. It has a 1060 3 gigabyte version and 16 gigs of DDR3 RAM and an 850 watt power supply. So this one is decent. I would want the uh, for it to be DDR4, but it is an 8 core processor, so it would be better for multitasking and video editing. The next one on the list is a Ryzen 3 2200G, 8 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM and a 500 watt power supply. And some of you may have noticed that I did not say a graphics card. That is because this does not have a graphics card. And instead, it has the 2200G, which has onboard graphics built into it. And with this one, it is with Ryzen. So it would be better for upgradability. And with the GPU, I can always buy it later. And my laptop right now doesn't have one. And it has an A6 processor in it. So the Ryzen 3 2200G would be better, and this would still be a better computer than my laptop. And now, I saved the best for last. This is the one I'm probably going to go for, and the one that you'll probably see in the next uh, in the next part of this series. It has a Ryzen 5 2600, clocked at 3.4 GHz, it runs at 6 cores, 12 threads. It has a GTX 970. Uh, graphics card is a 4 gigabyte version it has 16 gigabytes of RAM uh, DDR4 RAM at, clocked at 3200 megahertz and has a 450 watt power supply and it has 256 gigs of NVMe SSD storage so it does not have a hard drive and only 256 gigs but until I'm, I'll need a hard drive I can probably save up an extra save up extra cash here and there for a two terabyte one which is like around sixty dollars so that's not too too bad and now i'm going to be talking to you about the different uh sites what i liked about them what i didn't like about them and list them in order so i'm going to start with the worst in my opinion and then work my way to the best so the worst i would say facebook marketplace now, I was thinking about Facebook Marketplace because you might get people that don't really know about the system and might not gauge it accordingly with the specs. Might be selling like the sons or daughters old gaming PC that they're off in college or something like that. And they're not much into computers, so they don't really need it. I was thinking I was thinking that might happen, but I only saw like two or three game uh PCs on there in all the time that I looked. All that I normally, all that I saw most of the time were car keys, uh, well, wireless, wireless, wireless car keys that you have to, that you don't have to be next to the car and plug in the key for. And I did see a lot of phones and a lot of laptops. So if you're in that market, Facebook Marketplace might be a good option for you. But not if you're going for computers and everything. Now, let go and offer up were 
somewhat hard to kind of put in the scale, but I'm gonna have to put off uh, let go in third. Just be, uh, and I'll tell you why when I get to the off uh, off up. But let go, it's just like your basic little selling gap where uh, the only way of the contact is by the in-app messenger. And it is pretty nice. You can just go through the pictures of what people have. You can uh, swipe down to see like um, the description of it and then swipe up to see more pictures and everything. So it's, it's just like your basic little app and everything like that. Now for offer, offer up, it is basically like let go but the reason why I'll put off up in second place is because if you're looking for a graphics card off up has really good prices for uh, for um, for graphics cards like I saw one of the graphics cards was a 1080 it was selling for 177 and normally 1080s on like let go and Craigslist selling for like three hundred and seventy five dollars plus. So one seventy seven really good for ten eighty. So keep that in mind if you're doing graphics cards, but other than that it's basically like let go. And in first place I would put Craigslist and the reason why is it, you can message them by email, but most of the time they'll put in like their phone number so you can easily just call them and calling them you can easily negotiate if if you want maybe a slightly lower price and you can meet up like now see if they're able to right now and where and when instead of messaging you have to wait for them to look at it respond and they might be busy they might not even be on their phone so I, I like how you can call them and everything on Craigslist they also have pretty good deals and everything. And about Craigslist, they also have a free section. So you can just swing by. I saw some uh, computer, like a whole computer just for free that you can use for parts and everything like that. So there's a free section. If you're on a budget, you can always look in there. Even if you're looking for other things that's not computers, they'll still have a free section where they'll have like branches and things like that or whatever other things you might want to have but on offer up let go or facebook marketplace i wasn't able to find a free section so uh, craigslist i so like and everything like that because of those reasons and that's going to be the, the end of this video there's going to be a, a second part to this one so stay tuned for that one that's going to be posting in the next couple of weeks and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.